Hi friends, so this is Amit here and you are watching my channel information and educational videos. So as per your demand for ECS student, all the student who have requested me to make a video on roadmap for ECS student also as I have earlier uploaded a video on roadmap for CSCS student you can check that video on i button or in the description box also but this video is for only the student who are in EC branch and they are going to take their first year classes in 2021 or you can say 2020 or 2021 so in this video i will uh, talk you all you need to know uh, about the first year and what you need to do in first year to get most out of the first year and that will set the tone for you for all the four years of your btech course and that will be helpful for you so in this video i will talk about whether you should do programming and which type of programming you should start and in the beginning and how to score good in your first semester or second semester and which type of a skill you should learn in the first year so that you can get good placement in the final year and how much cgpa you should score so that your placement will be secured and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and whether the laptop is required or not this is the most important question many of you have been have asked me so if you have any doubt after watching this video you can ask in the comment section or on my instagram and if you belong from any other branch you can also comment down so that i will make video on that branch similar like this and i have already uploaded the csc video you should check that if you belong from csc student and if you are watching this video as a easy student and if you have any friend who are who is in csc then please refer that video to that friend so that they can also get this information and one more request is there if you find my video informative and you got information throughout the comet k counseling as well as now uh, your first year so if you find that useful please support me by watching my video till last and please share my videos and uh, channel in your college group so that i can get more view and more the number of a student can get this information and also my subscribe subscriber will grow so it will help me if you think you can help me in this way so if you're first to my channel please subscribe it so that you will get the further videos also so that you will be updated about the first year and so let's start the today's video First of all, I will talk about programming. It is the base of every engineering branch, I think, because programming is the base for tech company job. So first of all, I will tell you that if you haven't started it, you should start. If you are thinking that I am EC student, not computer science, then don't worry. You have all the opportunity to do the same as the CSE student. Many of you, I think, have got the ECS student due to the cutoff decrease but you have think before the counseling about the CSC branch but now you have got EC then don't think worry much because you have the all the opportunity to do the same as of CSC student because your syllabus is prescribed in this way that you can learn all the things that a CSC student will learn so you have all the opportunity to crack those placement as the CSE student can do. So for doing that, you have to uh, start programming in the first year or I will say from first day of college itself. So try to learn by coding any concept you learn, try to code them in your laptop or in your computer. So I think you should have the information that laptop is very necessary and uh, you can start with any language so don't worry if you are thinking that i don't want to take job i i have uh, aim for higher study i will talk about that also later in this video so try to find time for this as much as you can because this uh, skill is the primary and the most important skill that you should have for the placement and always learn by doing practically that is coding programming and just try to build your own logic because your own logic can 
remain in your mind for long time so don't try to copy the copy the code so this is all about the programming i think you have got the idea whether you, to, you should start or not so i will i would recommend you you should start it you have to start it for the tech company job because in the first year you have the time to study about uh, different languages so you can start with any language but i would advise you to start with c language it will help you to learn other language easily after this so programming in first year is very must so now i will talk about how to score good cgpa or sgpa so first of all gpa is not everything as i have told in csc video also so it will only provide you opportunity to sit in the company but the placement will originally depend on your skill so around 8 cgpa overall to from the sixth semester till sixth or seventh semester will be very enough for the every company that came to your respective college so you just need to focus on the teacher's notes just i i recommend you just follow the teacher note don't to try to go any coaching or this or, or any any uh, videos just try to focus on the teacher's notes that will be enough to score as many as you think submit your assignment on time it will increase your internal marks and make your attendance above 75 percent it will also help and try to solve previous year question before exam and try to score in internal exam whether it is mid semester in uh, any college or in some college it is internal exam so you have to try to get more marks in that so that you will get good internal marks and after scoring good marks in semester you have a good cgpa so try to score more in the first and second semester because uh, less subject will be there and you have so much time to uh, score it so you can score it by not uh, losing so much time so you have the time for programming also you can get the uh, a good cgpa also because in higher semester more number of uh, more number of subject will be there so it is not uh, easy to uh, score more marks so next is which type of a skill you should learn in first year that will help you in the future so programming should be your first choice for tech job if you are aiming a tech job so you should start with programming because it is the base of every tech company so don't think if you if you don't think about tech job then i will talk about that what you should do communication skill is must because communication skill is seen by many of the recruiters so you should have a good communication skill and you should be a discipline discipline student if you are disciplined then all the work will be done at time automatically and do nptl or coursera course as you wish for communication skill or any other skill you can do lots of course is available on there so if you are just uh, doing the course for learning then don't pay you will just learn don't get the certificate but if you want certificate then you have to pay for that and english speaking course is must if you are from a state board uh, then i think many of the student have uh, not good english speaking ability so you should do the course so that you will get a good english speaking ability and secure cgpa between 7 to 8 that will be enough for getting a job it all depends on your skill so if you are aim to higher stu higher study focus more on theory as your first priority will be gate i think because many of the student aim for higher study that is mtech or any other so your first priority should be gate so clearing gate it is necessary to more focus on the theory that that uh, uh, from which the question will came in gate exam so you should try to focus more on the theoretical theoretical part uh, if you are uh, aiming for the gate exam or higher study so don't be confused between tech job or higher study you should have a clear mind you should have a clear mind after discussing your senior you can ask me also which is good prefer higher study or preferring tech job you can consult with your parents also 
सो बी बी क्लियर इन योर माइंड दैट आई हैव टू गो फॉर दिस और दिस सो दैट विल हेल्प इन स्टडिंग मोर बेटर सो नेक्स्ट इज डूज एंड डोंट्स सो डूज एंड डोंट्स आर सेम फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट ट्राई टू एक्सप्लोर एज मच एज यू कैन बिकॉज यू यू विल फाइंड मोर नंबर ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट दैट इज अराउंड टू टू थ्री टू फोर थाउजेंड ऑल्सो इन सम कॉलेज and always find time to learn new skill in the first year you have so much time and try to take advice from your senior that will give you the path you need to follow and learn by practice or coding as i have told earlier and try to be proactive always suppose the college is uh, will provide you c language in second semester so you should start in the first semester itself so that you will get more idea about c language in second semester so what are the don'ts so don't be in both the mind that is if you are going for tech job or if you are going for higher study so be clear in this mind and don't waste your time and don't do unnecessary work that will waste your time automatically and don't try to be only a score good marks that is if you are scoring good marks and don't learning any skill that will not help so try to make balance between those you have to score also and you have to uh, grow your skill so don't argue with uh, teacher much because teacher have internal marks so uh, if you have good relation with the teacher the teacher will provide you good marks in the internal so last and final question is whether laptop is required or not so after i think after watching this video from starting you have the idea that if you are going for a tech job the laptop is very very necessary you have to, you should have laptop from the first day of college if you don't have try to get it as soon as possible and you can't learn new skill without this as you are going for tech job so you have to study about technology so without having a laptop you can't learn new skill related to the technology so but if you aim uh, if your aim is for higher study you can take it later so if you are thinking that if you are have a clear mind that i am not going for the tech job after btech i have to do higher study then you can focus on the theoretical part so you don't need the laptop now if you have then good if you don't have then you can take it later so this is all about the ec branch student that is electronic and communication engineering hope you find this video useful and try to focus on these points so that you will get much out of the first year so hope you find this video useful and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information and if you are from csa student then check the i button for the csa video and uh, again i will upload some more branch video you have to uh, comment down about your branch so that i can get the idea which branch i should take so i will make that make video on that branch so thanks share this video and please support me if possible in free time thanks